At his start we consider as a clone, a clone of the most popular AMV editor and they were right. He stayed in the shadows of these editors during a long time. But what happened? How did he survive the end year of Roto Edits? How did he survive after being considered as a clone? How did he manage to become so much different? Just let me tell you the story of an editor who liked too much One Piece. The dude who can make a two minutes edits and letting us not bore. An editor who can summarize a whole story into one edit. This is the story of Floby. <laughs> Floby is an editor who stared three years ago into the year of Roto Edits. During these times, one of the best Roto editor was J. Caran. He was the first inspiration of Floby. The fact is that Jcar was not like other Roto editors. The particularity of his edits is the low use of VFX, like in this edit. Floby was really inspired by that. He made a second edit inspired by Jcar. He knew that being inspired by only J. Carr won't make him grow at much so he testing other style and exactly one month later he decided to get into the Xenos rotation style. After that it was Gojo style. And after that it was return style. He was not lost. No, he was just testing style because he knew he had to fix himself or create a new one. But it was not easy. Zima's open collab arrived and he got destroyed by 6 feet 3. Watch Zima's open collab story to know more about that. He hits 2000 subs and all of his edits were inspired by others. Notice that during the Roto era it was almost impossible to actually being different because the intro, the transitions and the visual effects were the same for all editors. The only solution to be different that these times was the thumbnail. Yes, the thumbnails because when every edits looks the same. It means the difference between you and the others is the thumbnail. He tried many things, but the 6 February 2022. It was the first time he was making this thumbnail tight, and in the same time he understood that he could still get views without doing rotations. Floby has officially two styles, a vibe style and a roto style. During the next months, he evolved his thumbnail by adding a rectangular saber on characters. He slowly hits 20k and his open collab was one of the best roto edits of that time. It was Naruto in the end. One month later Floby understood that his if he speed up his vibe style it becomes a badass style and start making more and more vibe edits on faster songs. Robin Replay was the peak of his vibe style and Sasuke Starbo the peak of his badass style. Floby have now three styles and when we thought he couldn't evolve more he even made a flow edit. We all assumed that Floby's complete editor and have his place into the Hall of Fame of Editor, but it was not over yet. Fifteen days after his flow edit, Floby uploaded a Obito vs. Conan edit, and we were all waiting for a powerful edit. He just created another way of editing. It was his own storytelling style. <laughs> was not afraid to make long edits if it was necessary in order to well tell a story. And for me these long edits are the best gift he gave to the editing community. Summarizing battles, summarizing full movies. And even summarizing character stories. Today Floby have hit 100,000 subs and made an open collab for that. An open collab that reflects his journey. Celebrating the good times and again showing the community that he is not like other editors. Propose me next topic. See you in two days. <laughs>